Hi, I'm Jason Leopold. I'm an investigative reporter with Vice News, and I'm here in our Venice, California offices. Uh, I just got some documents from the State Department. These are documents pertaining to Hillary Clinton's classified emails, these 22 uh, top secret emails. And as some, listener, uh, as some readers of Vice News and viewers may, uh, may know, uh, Vice News is uh, the organization, the news organization, that forced the State Department to release all 30,000 of Hillary Clinton's emails. Uh, last January, uh, the State Department revealed that 22 of those uh, emails were classified uh, and that they could not reveal any information about them. Uh, during the course of our litigation in this Freedom of Information Act case, uh, we challenged the withholding. We said to the State Department, uh, you have to prove to us more or less why these emails uh, are considered classified. Uh, and in FOIA litigation, uh, a government agency produces what is known as a Vaughn Index. A Vaughn Index uh, is essentially the justification uh, that the government agency uh, will provide a requester uh, outlining the reasons for which they are withholding this information uh, and the harm that would be caused uh, to the public uh, if it, or the harm rather to the government I should say uh, if this information were to be publicly disclosed so we just got on a Friday night because the government loves to dump uh, uh, documents on a Friday night. Uh, in fact, uh, these, uh, these documents came to us just minutes before Hillary Clinton uh, announced uh, her vice presidential pick, uh, Tim Kaine, governor of Virginia. And so these, uh, let's take a look at, these, uh, uh, at this Vaughn Index. Uh, as I mentioned, a Vaughn Index is, is essentially the justification uh, for, uh, that the government agency will provide for withholding material. And oftentimes a Vaughn Index will contain information uh, about the material being withheld uh, and what it refers to. For example, uh, we're withholding this information because it refers to uh, nuclear secrets, uh, a CIA drone program, uh, and it will describe uh, what the exemption is under FOIA. So for example, uh, it would say we are withholding this for national security reasons. So I just got the, these two pages uh, and I'm kind of pissed off because we spent two months working with the State Department to get these, uh, uh, to get their uh, uh, explanation for why they're withholding uh, these, uh, these 22 emails. So here we have um, the first page of a document. And I will say that this Vaughn Index, the new information that it reveals is that Hillary Clinton exchanged classified information on her private email server with three top aides, three top aides at the State Department in 2011 and 2012. And that's new information. Uh, those aides are Jacob Sullivan, uh, uh, Cheryl Mills, and William Burns. Uh, Jacob Sullivan, uh, uh, close aide. She, he's now uh, the, uh, her top foreign policy advisor to the presidential campaign. Uh, Cheryl Mills, deputy chief of staff, uh, and, and William Burns, one of her undersecretaries of, uh, of state. Uh, unbelievably, uh, at least to me, perhaps to others out there, the, uh, they would not be surprised by what the State Department did here. Uh, they simply just disclosed who exchanged these emails. They did not give any justification uh, as they are required uh, under the FOIA guidelines for uh, uh, providing this Vaughn Index. They did not provide us uh, with their reasons, if you will, for withholding it. So here we have this first email. It was an email chain between Jacob Sullivan uh, and uh, Hillary Clinton concluding with a message from Secretary Clinton to Jacob Sullivan. That's it. It doesn't say anything else as to what this email message may refer to. Uh, what we have here uh, on the right-hand side of this, um, of this index uh, are two FOIA exemptions. Uh, B1, uh, that is more or less information that is withheld uh, because it would cause grave damage to national security if revealed. So it's, it's top secret uh, information. Uh, B5 is what's known as the deliberative process. It could be attorney-client privileged information, but uh, more or less these, uh, these government agencies withhold this 
um, or use this exemption simply to just justify the withholding of information. And it usually um, uh, pertains to uh, the deliberative process internally that takes place at government agencies. You know, it, it, this, is, this is just unbelievable to me simply because the State Department, as I mentioned, you know, they spent two months working on this. Uh, and they, again, they dropped this uh, in our lap on a, on a Friday night, um, knowing that we would not be able to take full advantage of, uh, of the news cycle. And they just simply did not provide uh, any information here uh, that would allow me or would allow the public to understand what is in these emails, uh, why these emails, uh, these 22 emails are deemed to be top secret. Uh, they do say that it's, you know, a, as, uh, uh, as the State Department already revealed, as uh, FBI Director James Comey revealed, that these are seven email chains. Uh, so we can see here, you know, here's, here's one classified email. Uh, it was an email to Secretary Clinton uh, from Jacob Sullivan uh, in 2011. They are all withheld under the same FOIA exemptions. In fact, every email here was exchanged uh, between Hillary Clinton and Jacob Sullivan, and there are a few others uh, that uh, show that Cheryl Mills was uh, involved with it uh, as well. Uh, it looks like the other page of the, uh, um, of, uh, the uh, index did not come up here, uh, but I can promise you that it, uh, it more or less looks exactly the same as this. Uh, it's, uh, uh, there, there are some other emails here that, uh, or at least the State Department's explanation about who sent these emails. Uh, they, they said an unnamed State Department uh, official. Uh, I'm going to put together a story uh, for Vice News. You could read the story over at vicenews.com uh, shortly. And essentially, you know, just to, just to again, uh, kind of provide a little bit of background here, these emails, at least according to news reports, citing unnamed officials, these emails were supposedly referring to a uh, covert CIA drone program uh, in Pakistan. Uh, some news reports also said that the emails identified uh, uh, covert CIA officers. Uh, there's, again, no indication in this index that the State Department provided uh, that, uh, in fact, that, you know, that would be true. Uh, back in January, when the uh, State Department revealed that there were 22 top secret emails, uh, Hillary Clinton's press secretary, her, uh, the, the press secretary to her campaign, Brian Fallon, uh, he said this was overclassification run amok. Uh, that in fact uh, he, he believes these emails should be released, that Hillary Clinton believes these emails should be released. Uh, but we've since learned uh, over the past several weeks, particularly since uh, uh, James Comey, the uh, director of the FBI, held this unprecedented news conference uh, revealing that uh, th these emails were highly classified. Uh, uh, refer to special access programs. Those are top secret uh, intelligence programs. In fact, these emails were marked um, SAP, special access program. It's, it's one of the highest classifications uh, in government. And uh, remarkably, the, you know, the State Department would not uh, provide us uh, with any further detail. Uh, it's interesting because the CIA, in, um, in past cases that uh, we hear at Vice News, past FOIA cases we've had against the CIA have provided um, an amazing Vaughn Index, a Vaughn Index that would actually reveal what the information in certain documents they were withholding refers to. Uh, as I mentioned, it could be weapons programs, it could be troop movements. Uh, it, it, it's really, sometimes a Vaughn Index can be very uh, revelatory. Uh, Certainly not in this case with the State Department, and uh, it, it should be noted that this also comes uh, three days before Hillary Clinton will formally accept the, uh, 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 the, her, her party's uh, nomination to be president. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go prepare a story and uh, kind of talk about what the State Department did reveal here. 
Uh, and importantly, what they didn't reveal here uh, and what they should have uh, revealed uh, in these documents. Uh, one thing that uh, I should also add uh, is that the uh, what was uh, revealed in separate court documents today that we received as well is uh, the FBI, the several thousand uh, documents that they recovered, which includes emails that they recovered from her private email server, uh, the, in court documents the government indicated that they are now starting to turn that over to the State Department and leaving it up to the State Department to determine whether or not that information can be publicly disclosed. Uh, but from, from what I see here, it, it does appear that uh, this issue with the emails will go on for quite some time. Uh, it's just incredibly frustrating having to have waited two months for, uh, for these documents uh, and to get them and to see that it's a complete bust, that uh, it really does not provide uh, anyone with further information. So go check out vicenews.com uh, and we're going to have a story up there uh, momentarily. Thank you.